best class, class A, so that you get the best results. Now, what do these tolerances look like? Uh, if we have a pretty small volumetric flask, it's so cute, it's like this tiny. Uh, anyway, a one milliliter volumetric flask, the tolerance associated with measuring that one milliliter is about 20 microliters. While if we had a one liter volumetric flask, the tolerance associated with it is about 0.3 of a milliliter. And so the larger the glassware, of course, you can see or imagine that it's going to be more and more difficult to be extremely accurate with getting that meniscus. If, if the width of the glassware gets larger and larger each time, you can imagine that getting that bottom of the meniscus right there on that line, the calibration mark, is going to be more and more difficult. Uh, and so uh, one of the things I want you guys to always remember is the tolerances associated with using various types of glassware. Another important thing that I need to point out is uh, this right here, 20 degrees. Anyone knows what this 20 degrees means? Is that the control temperature? It's the control temperature. It's the temperature that this glassware is calibrated to deliver exactly 500 milliliters of whatever, or, or to contain 500 milliliters of uh, whatever liquid you put in there, uh, if the meniscus is right uh, on this calibration mark. Uh, and so this temperature is extremely important. If I take a piece of glassware and I heat it up, what happens to the glassware? It expands. If I take a piece of glassware and I cool it down, what happens? It contracts, right? And so if I heat up glassware, it's going to contain more than I think it contains, right? If I cool it down, the opposite. Uh, and so this glassware is actually calibrated at 20 degrees. When it's used, it's going to be in your best interest to use it at around room temperature, which would be somewhere around uh, the low 20s of uh, degrees Celsius. You guys with me? Great. That being said, if you take a piece of uh, volumetric scientific glassware and you heat it up or you cool it down, even though when you bring it back to room temperature and equilibrate it, it will return back to the same temperature that it started with, it may not return to the same volume. And so that's why scientific glassware, especially class A scientific glassware, should never be heated up or cooled down you should never put a hot or cold liquid into a volumetric flask or pipette a hot or cold liquid because it will no longer be calibrated after it's, uh, it expands or contracts. Uh, and so keep that in mind as well. It's another thing that shoots people in the foot. I remember a few years ago, I was doing an experiment for someone and they had to give me a bunch of standards made up in one milliliter volumetric flask. So cute. Uh, uh, and they brought me all these flasks and I touched them. I was like, why the heck is this cold? They're like, oh, we made the solutions a week ago. We had them in the refrigerator. And I said, just take your solutions, remake them, brand new volumetric flasks, and then bring them back to me. Uh, they weren't happy, but who cares? Uh, anyway, so temperature, important. Now, another thing I want to point out is this right here, TC. I actually mentioned what it means already. TC means to contain. So when you have scientific glassware, the glassware, when it's calibrated, this volumetric flask is calibrated to contain 500 milliliters, plus or minus 0.2, right? If I pour out from that glassware into something else, it's not calibrated to deliver 500 milliliters, it's calibrated to contain 500 milliliters. There's some glassware that's going to say TD to deliver, and some glassware that's going to say TC to contain. And always remember that. Uh, one example of a glassware that's, uh, where are we? Here. Uh, one example of a glassware that's going to say TD is a transfer pipette. I very often call these volumetric pipettes. And so if I use that term, please don't get confused. I just mean this transfer pipette that you, you've used before in uh, your lab. So the transfer <coughs> pipette, if you zoom in right there on the pipette itself, you'll see that it says TD 